that relationship hour is about to get real crazy here. Uh, because I want you to be honest. I really want you to be honest. All right? We hear this a lot. I love that kid just like it was my own. I love that kid just like, you know, I had just like, woo, woo, woo. And I'm not doubting that you don't love that child. But do you really, really love that child as if it was your own? Got an inbox, and I thought I would go ahead and put it out there. Can a woman or a man love a child the same as their parents, biological parents? Let's say you the stepdad, you the stepmom. Now, I hear guys say that, but I think it could be a little different for women. A woman carries that child for how long? Right, mom. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah you're talking. Yeah, I see, I see you talking back at the radio. Yeah. So, now this new woman that comes, comes in the picture, she's a stepmom. You mean to tell me she can love that child just like the lady who carried the child for nine months? I'm not doubting that she can't love, but can she really, really love like the woman who carried the child for nine months? Interesting conversation. I want to hear what you have to say. Same silk relationship out. What's happening? Yeah, I, I just flipped through the radio and heard you ask that question about um, can somebody love a child that's not theirs, a mother love a child that's the not theirs? The same as a biological parent. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I, I don't see how they couldn't um, because there are a lot of mothers who um, have a child in their womb for nine months and give that child away or there's, there's people that go and have abortions and things like that. Mm. But there, there's, there's mothers who want to have children who may, may not be able to. Good job. And, I mean, and God himself adopts us into his, those who believe into his son Jesus Christ, he adopts them in as sons and children of his own. Um, so not only can someone do that, love a child that's not their biological, uh, I, I, think, I think it's definitely... No, 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 no. Not, we didn't say cannot love. We say love the, the same, same, yeah, the same as, as a biological yeah. parent. Yeah, and, and, and I say, well, yeah, let me rephrase that. I, I think that they can. I think that, you know, if, if I was to adopt a child, um, that child would be as much my child. All right, so here's one thing uh, I, I believe, three, two, one. So here's another scenario. If the kid is 13 years old, you mean to tell me you're going to love that kid the exact same way as your biological kid, you have to get to know that kid. Now, if you come into a child's life at, at an infant age, I think you could, you could somewhat, in a great way, love that kid the same as your biological kid. Maybe it's just my way of thinking. I just think blood is thicker than water. Not to say that you would treat that child bad, but I'm, I'm talking about the logical sense right here. What do you got to say? We're going to take some more calls. Relationship hour. Hello. Hey, I just wanted to comment and say that I didn't have a good um, step-parent experience while I was growing up. Um, I had a step-parent that was just like a step-parent to me. I didn't have a good Oh, I'm married, and we have five kids together. There's always, oh, this is my four, and this is my wife's daughter, or this is my, these are my boys, mm. and that's my husband's son. Mm. My, you know, so, mm. and me personally, I, I have four children. I'm single, and yeah. I don't want to put that burden on them to bring a man into the house or marry somebody. And well, well, like, well, let me say this. Is, well, no they, no, they should love them kids. They supposed to love them kids now. No, 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 no I'm talking about my, I don't want to put the burden on my children to, feel like they have to love him out of obligation to me. Absolutely right. But but That's let me how I felt growing up. Right, I got you. And so would he when no when that man comes into your life, to those kids' life, he the love that he shows you and them, then they will learn how to love him on their own. Cause you don't have to teach nobody. Basically all you gotta do is show the love and it'll happen. If you show it and give it It'll happen. That's just how great love is. Right. But I, I guess because of my own experience as a child, that's not how it went. Yeah. So I just, I'm not knocking it. I, I don't know. I'm just on the fence with it. Like I said, I didn't have a good experience with that. Got it. All right. So I, All right. 
Well, no, I, I, I hear you, man. This is why we're talking about it, because everybody doesn't have the same exact experience. That's why it's a debate on right. can someone love their stepkids the same way as a biological parent. But I do want to tell all the step-parents out there, seriously, all that, this is, these are my children, that's my stepson or my stepdaughter. Yeah. You really put... Uh, you can really, you really put a stigma on the per a child's confidence and self esteem when you say that. So Good if job. you all are listening, please stop doing that to those children. Good job. Thanks a lot, beautiful.